harder bedrock behind. Now the harder bedrock is what accounts for the walls, ceilings, and floors of the cabins today. After everything is hollowed out, it will leave a perfect environment for a secondary growth. And that is all the formations that you see. Your first type of formation is called dripstone. That is all of your stalactites, stalagmites, and eventually your columns. Now stalactite forms as water moves to the surface at a slow rate. It deposits all of its minerals downward. A stalagmite form is that same water is going to move through the surface, going out of it faster. So it will hit the ground and start to deposit all of its minerals upward. Now when a stalactite and a stalagmite meet, they do form what we call a column, like this one right here. But this does take a very long time. It takes an estimated 120 years for just a cubic inch of dripstone to form. Now throughout the tour today, we are all going to be seeing four main colors. Our first color is a white. That is what we call calcite in its purest form. Second, we have a blackish gray. This is called manganese oxide. Now the third and most dominant color that we have in the cavern is the reddish orange we call iron oxide. Now the fourth color is actually green. It is not natural to the cavern. We call it cave algae or cave moss. The only reason it's here is because of the humidity and also our lighting system. Now our next stop is going to be just up ahead at the Blue Bay Caverns Fish Market. Along the way we are going to be passing beneath the Blue Bay Caverns Natural Bridge. 